Hello dudes, it's me Alanis10 here, back with another Windcraft quest guide. Today we are taking a look at Misadventure on the Sea. It's a combat level minimum of 28. It's a long quest, so do prepare for that. You might even need a few potions. Visit the Nemract bar at those coordinates. We're gonna start off by right clicking to track it. We're starting right outside of Nemract and we're gonna make our way to the Nemrect Bar, also known as the Nemrect Potion Merchant, which is located basically right outside of the bank, and it is this large building right here. We're going to enter it, and we'll go up to this barman over here. Like him, hello there, soldier. What can I get you? I'll take two Nemrak whiskeys, one for me, one for this chap. You got it. So, I've seen you around town. You got the soul of an adventurer, don't you? Two Nemrak whiskeys coming up. So, soldier, are you up for some sail in the ocean with me? I got a fancier boat than that sea skipper. I figured you'd be interested in exploring the waters. I'll wait for you on the docks, don't worry, you can't miss the boat. And there we go. Now, we're gonna go to the boat here. We're gonna sort of follow Honip, but he uh, disappears after a while. So we just go through here and you can see the marker over there. Now, if you die in this next stage, you might need some potions, but if you die in this next stage, Come back to this spot and there will be a sort of icon you can press to get back. Well, let's talk to Honeb. Ah, there you are. Ready? Follow me. The boat's over here. Look at this. Magnificent. Much better than whatever the sea skipper is using. Well, what are you waiting for? Hop aboard. Sometimes the boat doesn't always appear, but sort of jump sort of in the water over this way and it will have the same sort of effect um, but yeah then it's settled we're going on an adventure buckle up we got waves to catch so i should warn you this is actually my first time sailing that's alarming it doesn't seem too difficult though a little to the left. Hmm, looks like we're not the only ones out on the waters today. They're a bit too head on, don't you think? I'm trying to steer the ship, but it's not budging. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate for you. Ow. And we've been knocked out. Okay. Now we're being dragged around. And here we are. We awaken. Now turn around, just look at the sign, shift through, and turn around. Hey, you're finally awake. I honestly truly can't believe you fell for that. Let me sum it up for you. Some extremely suspicious pirate comes up, offers you a drink, and leads you to a suspicious boat. Any normal person would have turned back by then, but what do you do? You hop on. Well, now you're stuck with us. Let me make this quick. This boat need renovation, and we want you to do it. Why? You're a soldier. All you do is take orders. Anyway, we'll need you to clean our stuff. Here, get out. We can open this up, and we can exit. And now it did something it's not supposed to do, because that's supposed to happen. I guess it's a sort of trigger there. So there's quite a few bodies in, in there and we never bothered 
growing them out. Go ahead, here's the sponge for the dried blood as well. Just whack the bodies with it. And shift through. If you need me, I'll be on the deck. And uh, don't go in the hold, we got a big rat problem. So we get this sponge. Uh, we just click this body right here. We have seven to clean. There's one more over this way. And then we continue up these stairs here. We have one right over here. Click on him. We continue through here. Click on this body. And then we click on this body. And now we can go up these ladders here. Now there's one body over here. And one last one in the front. There we go. Now we can go talk to Honep. Okay, let's talk to Honep. Hey, the boat's looking real nice now. I'll probably let you rest, so hold on. Uh, Honip, uh, one of the guys said he saw something really weird coming right for us. Wait, what? Soldier, come. So now we just go down here onto the main deck. Put the sponge away. What's happening? We don't know. Can't exactly see it, but it seems huge. Let me see. Uh, where am I supposed to be looking at exactly? I swear, it felt like the whole ocean was getting crazy a second ago. If this is another one of your jokes. Look out! And now we have a sea monster. What the hell is that? I don't know. This wasn't planned. Soldier, now it's your time to shine. shine. Scared off with one of your spells or something. We have a few different options on what to do, but if you do the spells, you get an extra reward. Just do a spell five times. There we go. And then that will scare it. It's starting to panic. That's right, get back. I knew you had it in you. What a show. Come, I got some things to tell you. Now talk to him. I don't know where that creature came from, but... Thanks to you, it's gone. I got something else for you to tackle. It's about the rats. Come to the hold. I'll explain on the way. So we just follow Honep. I think we have quite a hellish problem on our hands. I'm not sure what you'll find there, but these are not normal rats. So please, get in there and kill everything, alright? I got faith in you. Here goes nothing. Okay, so here comes the fighting part. Um, make sure you have a few potions. Uh, we start by just fighting some rats. And that's it. Now, these larger rats will spawn in. We kill those. And then we get the final big boss rat. And there we go, the colossal rat. It has two forms, so... You 
can basically just spell spam it and keep it at a distance. There we go. And now we can grab a couple of things. For an extra reward, you can grab this key up here. Then you can grab some extra ingredients over here as an extra reward as well. And then mainly for the quest, we need to grab the cannon fuse and we need to grab this gunpowder. There we go. And now that opens the exit and we can leave. Now with the key we just got, we can go through here. Just click it after it says the message and walk through. And now we can open this treasure chest sort of deal. You just basically just shift through that. It's going to give you a ton of stuff. It's going to give you three blocks. Uh, I, I have five because I started out with two. Uh, three blocks and a lot of different types of ingredients. But mainly three extra uh, emerald blocks. Now we need to look for clues to escape. So once we get up these stairs here into the sort of second room up here. We can go to the very end and open this up. We can read these notes. Just shift through them. It's about uh, there being a cannon, human cannon sort of deal on top. And now we can climb up here. Whoops. I always missed that. So once we've read the notes, we can go back and talk to Honip again. We'll go talk to Honip. Hey there, you bring me good news. You took care of those damn thieving rodents. A colossal rat, you say? Nicely done, I knew you could count on me. Come, come here, take these. Now we just got two emerald blocks. And you get those for actually killing the or fighting the ocean monster. Uh, if you don't fight it, you won't get it. Anyway, for now you can go rest and do whatever you want. We can shift through that. So now we got sort of the rewards. The money rewards you can get from this quest and now we can basically try to escape so here is the cannon it's the angled one we can talk to that so it basically says oh yeah this is the cannon now we put everything in sometimes pirates spawn around here and you have to make sure they don't see you uh, otherwise they will caught you and you will sort of try to do it again um, now they, you know, see, you can't really see the pirate, but there's probably an invisible pirate right here. I don't know if that's it, but yeah, see, they keep catching me, but they're invisible. So let's see if we can do it one more time. Nope. Let's see. It says to talk to Honip, uh, but we already did that. We might just do a slash class and now we can actually see the pirate and they're moving around and now we can climb in. We just climb in. There we go. And now we can escape. There we are. Seth, have you seen the soldier? No, but they did a great job in the hold. Some gunpowder went missing though. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. And we have successfully escaped. And now we're going to play a little game of dodge the bird. Because we have to dodge the bird. Because now we're just standing here and seagulls will sort of fly at us. And we just move to the left or right to dodge them. Oh, they do a bit of damage. And now, once that is done, we will crash onto this tropical island. Here we are. And to trigger in the next sort of part, we have to interact with three things. AKA, you gotta touch the tree for it to say. Oh, I'm not trying to leave it, but that was probably a little bit of a bug. It said it's a palm tree, so we talk with the tree. Now we can to interact with the sand we dig up the sand uh, 
and that didn't do anything. And now we interact with the coconut. It's a coconut. And then we can just go over here. And something's approaching. And now we can see the sea skipper arrive. I think something is wrong here, sort of duplicated it. Double the boat, double the speed, right? Oh, there we are. Hey there, soldier. Looking like you're in a bit of a pickle. How about you hop on? So now we can just hop on the sea skipper's boat and off we go. Well, we're headed for Selchar in the heart of the ocean, which is safer. Oh, oh whoops. I, I was casually taking a scenic detour. So you gotta tell me what happened. Oh, kidnapped by pirates? I see. How unfortunate. I guess that will show ya. Trying to avoid the good old sea skipper. I'm the only trustworthy... Oh, well, this is scrolling way faster. Uh, anyway, I can see the shore off in the distance. Hang tight, we're almost there. And there we go. Quest completed, misadventure on the sea. 8,500 experience points. Passes to sell char from the sea skipper are now free. 320 emeralds and also various ingredients. And that was it for this quest guide. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.